Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are plenty of programs out there that allege to speed up your internet connection. And way back in the day when most of us were on dial-up because we had no other choice, that software sometimes did work. It made the internet move faster. It changed a few things in the system registry, and lo and behold, wow, things were just moving much quicker than they were before. Pages were loading faster, images were loading faster, etc. Uh, I've talked about a few uh, s programs that I run on Windows that do happen to help uh, the speed at which the internet runs, specifically Fast Cache, C A C H E. Uh, I've been using that one for years, and that speeds up my internet, so to speak, by caching the IP address lookups. So uh, it, it essentially makes it so that I have to transmit less information back and forth between when I'm pulling up a website with multiple images. I'm just going to open it up just for argument's sake to open it up, look at stats. Since running it, it tells me that caching has saved me a day and 20 hours, 36 minutes, 21 seconds of my life. By running this program, it says it saved that much time in lookups. Uh, now, I've been using the program for uh, a little while now, so it does take a, a long time to even save that much. So uh, imagine what you could do with another day. All right, well, that's probably a bad example but there are a lot of programs out there that allege to do this for you and they'll do it so long as you fork over some cash well this program fast cash is free cash refers to the caching of information not necessarily cash as in cold hard cash which a lot of software developers want you to fork over in exchange for using a program that may give a benefit but likely does not. Uh, maybe you know of one, in which case go ahead and leave a comment or a follow-up. Google uh, had developed and has incrementally released uh, new versions, uh, uh, something called the Google Web Accelerator. And this is a program that you could run inside your browser uh, that will quote unquote speed up your internet connection. Well, that's it's probably it's probably inaccurate to say. It will speed up the way that you're able to view pages that you search for. So the way Google Web Accelerator runs, if I understand it correctly, when you search Google, you get the top 10 results. So you're looking here and you say, oh, all right, well, I'm looking at the results. Well, I, I, I'm gonna look at this one. Well, when you're looking at that one, when Google goes and it's, it, it starts downloading those other pages or information from those other pages, data, images, pay, you know, code, text, etc. So if you go to that first page, and you say, and that's not what I was looking for, and you go back, and then you go to another page, it looks like it pops up instantly. It's like, wow, how did that happen? Well, it's because Google was downloading it in the background. Well, not Google itself, but that Google Web Accelerator product. Uh, so does it work? Well, yeah, that, that does work. But the problem is, is that it's downloading web pages that you may or may not look at. So it may actually be leeching bandwidth from you rather than speeding up the web, so to speak. More importantly, and I don't know if they've corrected this, there was some issue with webmasters, people who own web servers, uh, they could not identify in recent builds, they couldn't identify when someone was using the Google Web Accelerator, because let's say uh, you have a website and you've got all this information that's on this website, uh, if the Google Web Accelerator comes in and downloads all that data from your website, you may pay for that bandwidth. But if that user never actually visits the page, if it just gets pulled in through the Google Web Accelerator and they never visit it, well, that's kind of wasted bandwidth that the webmaster is responsible for. So there was a huge backlash in terms of site developers and site owners uh, for the Google Web Accelerator and how they rolled it out. Um, at its core, it does make the internet seem faster. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it, there's too much controversy surrounding the way that at which the Google Web Accelerator accelerates the web. Fast Cache, I've had no problems with. I use that in conjunction with OpenDNS, uh, two products of which I've blogged about uh, many times in the past. Uh, if you have a, a, a true, really good accelerator product, 
uh, that you know about, or even a, just a simple tweak, whether it's for uh, OS 10 or for Windows, by all means, you know, leave a link, uh, leave a suggestion. I'm I'm always looking for ways to speed it up. Uh, this is these are the programs and utilities and sites that I use and and recommend. And, and then again, the stories that surround these other alleged speed up utilities that are out there. Uh, let us know uh, your stories, your history, your background. Um, Leave a comment, or even better, come by the chat room and talk shop. Uh, even if you, you know, aren't in shop or never took shop in high school, I never did. I was afraid of losing my thumb. <laughs> Got to use it for texting. I mean, texting would kind of suck if you only had one thumb. I mean, not to offend any one thumb texters out there. All right. Anyway, live.perillo.com. <laughs>